What really happened to Robert Wagner? Star in It Takes a Thief. Robert Wagner was born Robert John Wagner Jr. on February 10, 1930, in Detroit, Michigan, U.S. to Robert John Wagner Sr. and Hazel Alvera. His father was a successful steel executive who was called Bob and his mother was a telephone operator. His family moved to Bel Air, California, in 1937 and settled close to the Bel Air Country Club, where Wagner became a caddy for noted club members such as Alan Ladd and Fred Astaire. In the year 1949, he attended St. Monica Catholic High School and graduated. He developed an interest in acting at an early age. His initial efforts included an unsuccessful screen test for the Fred Zinnemann-directed American drama, Teresa, 1951. In personal life, Wagner married actor Natalie Wood from December 1957 to April 1962. He was eight years older than her then. He was then married to actor Marion Marshall from July 1963 to October 1971. Their daughter, Katie Wagner, was born on May 11, 1964. He was engaged to actor, singer, author, and producer Tina Sinatra for a while and then remarried Natalie on July 16, 1972. The couple welcomed their daughter, Courtney Wagner, on March 9, 1974. On November 29, 1981, while on a weekend trip to Santa Catalina Island, Natalie drowned near their yacht, Splendor. Wagner and actor Christopher Walken were on the yacht at that time, along with the captain, Dennis Davern. On May 26, 1990, he married actor Jill St. John. Movie career among Wagner's early films were Halls of Montezuma 1951 and With a Song in My Heart 1952. He appeared with screen legend Barbara Stanwyck in Titanic 1953, and soon became romantically involved with his co-star. Wagner portrayed the title role in Prince Valiant 1954, and learned more about his craft from working with Spencer Tracy in Broken Lance 1954 and The Mountain 1956, but was unable to make the leap to breakout star. In the 1960s, Wagner continued to act in films such as The Pink Panther and Harper. But it took a lead role in television's It Takes a Thief 1968-1970 to bring his career to the next level. The show also gave him a chance to work with Astaire, who Wagner knew from his caddying days. From 1975 to 1978, Wagner starred in the detective agency series Switch, with Eddie Albert, Charlie Callis and Sharon Gless. Then in 1979, Wagner joined Stephanie Powers to star as a debonair crime-solving couple in Heart to Heart. The popular show, which aired until 1984, offered Wagner even greater career success. Wagner appeared in a TV movie with Audrey Hepburn, Love Among Thieves 1987, and in a miniseries with Jacqueline Smith, Windmills of the Gods 1988. He and St. John worked with Pierce Brosnan in the miniseries remake of Around the World in 80 Days 1989. For Tom Mankiewicz he played a supporting part in Delirious 1991. More widely seen was Dragon, the Bruce Lee story 1993, where Wagner played a producer. Wagner played Love Letters on stage with Stephanie Powers. Wagner's film career received a boost after his role in the Austin Powers series of spy spoofs starring Mike Myers. Wagner played Dr. Evil's henchman number two in all three films, Austin Powers, International Man of Mystery 1997, Austin Powers, The Spy Who Shagged Me 1999 and Austin Powers in Goldmember 2002. He also had small roles in Wild Things 1998, Crazy in Alabama 1999, Play It to the Bone and Saul Good 2001. Wagner became the host of Fox Movie Channel's Hour of Stars, featuring original television episodes of the 20th Century Fox Hour, 1955, a series which Wagner had appeared on in his early days with the studio. In 2005, Wagner became the television spokesman for the Senior Lending Network, a reverse mortgage lender and in 2010 he began serving as a spokesman for the Guardian First Funding Group, also a reverse mortgage lender. 
As of June 2011, Guardian First Funding was acquired by Urban Financial Group, who continue to use Mr. Wagner as their spokesperson. In 2007, Wagner had a role in the BBC AMC series Hustle. In season 4's premiere, Wagner played a crooked Texan being taken for half a million dollars. Wagner also played the pivotal role of President James Garfield in the comedy horror film Netherbeast Incorporated, 2007. He had a recurring role of a rich suitor to the main character's mother on the sitcom Two and a Half Men. His final appearances on the show were in May 2008. Wagner remained active with his career. He starred as number two, Dr. Evil's henchman, in the Austin Powers movies and he made regular guest appearances on various TV shows, including Two and a Half Men and NCIS. Wagner's memoir, Pieces of My Heart, was published in 2008. He also wrote You Must Remember This, Life and Style in Hollywood's Golden Age, 2014. Thank you for listening to the story about the life of Robert Wagner.